Hey everyone, Merch Hunter Ricky. I'm back today with a little bit of a different video. See, I kind of forgot over the past couple months that my name is Merch Hunter Ricky, and a video I did recently reminded me of that. So I went basically around my entire city where I live and I found as much One Piece merch as possible. It ended up totaling over a thousand dollars. I want to I want to say it was around fifteen hundred dollars, maybe fifteen hundred sixty, something like that, and. In total for me, I ended up spending around $65. So I just wanted to give a little bit of a tour of a One Piece collector's day. Okay, so my day started off at Painted Visions, the local comic book store where I live. And it has about as much American comics as Japanese manga. So you'll go to the front of the store and the front of the store will have all this comic book memorabilia and the comic books themselves, current, old, and you know, whatever types of graphic novels you're looking for. But in the back of the store is where they have all the manga and sometimes they'll have like the whole box sets, which is very rare because it is a small store. But recently they started carrying a lot of action figures, statues, standalone figures, and bag clips. See, I have a Frankie right here. I'm in the process of collecting all of the Wano box set of this keychain brand. This Frankie looks fantastic. There's tons of them. Every time I go to the store, it looks like the box is a little bit more full. So I wonder if they're like pulling from another box or something like that. But I got about almost the entire Straw Hat crew, except for, Luf uh, except for Usopp and Chopper and Jinbei, I believe. Now the cool thing about this store is that if I am looking for something in specific, they will try to write it down on a list of items that they want to be selling in the store in the future. Now I can kind of brag and say that I am like the sole reason that they sell WCF One Piece figures. Like I said in my video previously about the merch, I got my wife an ulti figurine of the WCF variety and I have been asking on and on like for years for them to carry more One Piece stuff, including the figures and the WCF style. And I love WCF. I have almost <laughs> like a fifth of them, you know, maybe even more. And the fact that a store so close to me, only 10 miles away, sells it makes me very happy. Now, just a little bit up the street from this store is a place called Second and Charles. It's kind of like a thrift store mixed with a bookstore. You can go in there and sell your memorabilia or whatever you want to them, and if they take it, they take it. And they don't really give you a lot. They're kind of like GameStop in this, in that field. But what they do have is all four One Piece box sets. Now the One Piece box sets will run you about $185 with tax, maybe a little bit more. And I have all four. And currently in America, you can only get the first four. The fifth set for Wano is out, but only in Japanese. It will be releasing soon in English. Now, what I really like about the store too is that they have your, your, at your standard variety of action figures, figurines, and they started selling One Piece very recently. They typically only sell My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, and Naruto, and in that order of popularity at that store they now have a full-fledged anime corner of just really really niche as well as popular manga but they even had rooster fighter while i was there which is like the goofiest manga i've ever read in my life but from the manga to the clothing items they had which is very niche very little and the one piece figurines they had it was pretty crazy and i was very shocked to see it there at all especially the box sets and then not only that but they carried dvds and blu-rays as well now, going down into the mall, which is only about a mile and a half, maybe less than half a mile away from Painted Visions and Second and Charles, which are literally across the street from each other, at the mall they had four stores, I think, that had One Piece gear. So the first one I stopped at was a place called FYE, and that is like your designated weeb store, especially on the East Coast. I don't know about the West Coast, but over here on the East Coast, before the early in the early 2000s it was like a music store that had pop culture stuff now it is just a straight up weave store with some dvds and some cds now they had a whole one piece section and everything on there ranged from affordable to wildly unaffordable this is the part in my video where things start getting very pricey that isn't the one piece box set from second and charles now they had a 
killer action figure, like literally killer himself, 74 bucks. They had a law. I didn't get any B-roll of the law, so I'm sorry about that. You won't see it in this video, but the law is $70. And then I ended up getting a hat, this devil fruit hat, which will go into my devil fruit series on Saturdays. It was 25 bucks. Now, the crazy thing about this store is that the One Piece section is so small yet so jam-packed. I mean, they even had a cookie jar of like a treasure chest and then they had they were selling like the One Piece sodas that are from Japan, but they're here in America now and they're about 5.99 each, 4.99 each and there is Luffy, Sanji, Zoro and Nami. And you know, one of each soda is going to run you 5 bucks. Not really worth it, but as a collector, maybe you want a can, you'll wash it out and keep it, I'm not too sure, but you know, you can do that if you want to. Then after I went to FYE, I went literally across the hallway in that mall to Boxed Lunch, which a lot of people buy their stuff online more so than in their physical locations. And honestly, their physical location is kind of a ghost town, but their one piece section was bigger than FYE's. Although FYE had more cool stuff, um, box lunch had clothing items they had a throw blanket they had sweatpants both of those were around 25 bucks they had two types of hats one for 18 with no color like just a golden uh, straw hat jolly roger on it i think that was the 18 dollars one then they had a colored jolly roger for like 22 bucks they also had like a water bottle and just some other niche items and a bunch of shirts but all in all, like that really opened my eyes because the lady said I don't have much One Piece stuff then proceeded to show me more One Piece stuff than any of the other stores that sell it in the mall. Because uh, another place I went to was Hot Topic and Hot Topic has shirts and only shirts and then like a Luffy plush that I found, which was really cool. And then they also had like a random Luffy pin, like a very small Luffy pin that I saw in a field of pins. but. Going back to Box Lunch, they even had socks, and they had really cool socks. I got my wife a pair of a thousand, of the Thousand Sunny socks, and then I got her a shirt from Hot Topic because it was our anniversary. Happy anniversary, Yaz. I love you. And another thing that the mall had that I didn't expect them to have was at the bookstore, they had more figurines, like really cool figurines of One Piece characters, specifically Nami. She's probably going to be like the most character that you will find like luffy and nami by far you will find in america for some reason more so than like zoro frankie and i actually did find a frankie at the mall at gamestop of all places they didn't have a one piece game they didn't have one piece odyssey the ps3 section didn't have one piece unlimited world red the game boy section didn't have that either but they had one piece socks and then they had a frankie action figure that i already own and i found that to be crazy that GameStop, a store about video games, sells more memorabilia and clothing now than they do video games. There was probably, in total, I counted at around 300 games in the store, which is like less than half of the memorabilia items they have in the store. It was kind of blowing my mind. But all in all, just being able to find all of that stuff together in one day was very cool to me. And you know, this is the first time in my life anything like that has been available and at such a wide variety of stores. And I guarantee you, if I were to go to Best Buy in my area, I would have found One Piece Odyssey, I might have found Unlimited World Red, and I might have found some sort of exclusive One Piece memorabilia gift box, because they seem to do that at Best Buy now. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is I got the rarest set of the, the keychain that I'm collecting. Like I said, I have just about everyone, but they had two rare figs. One is clearly Jinbei, and the other one I, I mistaked for Yamato, but it's actually Gear 4 Luffy. My wife pulled that one, so, you know, thank her. My daughter was actually the one who was grabbing the bags. She chose this one, and she chose the Frankie, and she pulled another Sanji. That's the only one I've gotten a repeat of so far. That's how good this set is. It's kind of funny. You can kind of, like, feel the difference in each straw hat. Like, I felt Zoro swords, so I was like, this one might be Zoro, and it was Zoro. And then with Nami, I genuinely thought it was Usopp, because you can feel the climb attack, but no, it's it's just Nami's climb attack and not Usopp's, uh, whatever it's called, Kabuto. Um, the Usopp is actually the most bland of the keychains. I have the bags right here. Yes, I just elbowed myself. But yeah, like I don't know if you can see this very well. I'll throw up some B-roll as well. But the Usopp down here in the corner is not the coolest looking one. Oh, but you know what? He does have Kabuto. I'm looking at the back, and that's that's my mistake. 
I don't have him yet. I'm literally just missing him, Chopper, Jinbei, and Brook, actually. But I guarantee you I'll be able to pull them and I'll do a full video review of that entire set because honestly, these keychains might be some of my favorite One Piece merch, like, ever. And I have so much One Piece merch dating back from like 1998 to now 2023. That is how much One Piece merch I have collected. And I did that all in one year. And really the point of this video is to show you that you can get, for maybe less than 50 bucks, you can get started on a One Piece collection or at least get an item that shows how much you love One Piece very quickly in your hometown. Maybe not the specific location you live in, but at least your home state. You might have to travel a little bit if you live in like the South or like the Midwest of the United States. You know, I, I wouldn't know about Canada. I wouldn't know about Europe, Asia, Australia. You know, obviously in Japan, you're gonna find it very well. Maybe in Africa, you would find it in like South Africa or like, you know, like the Eastern Horn where Ethiopia is. I'm not too sure about that, but I do have an Ethiopian friend that collects One Piece gear like me and last time I checked, they still live in Ethiopia. So, you know, One Piece is permeating worldwide to a very, very large audience. And with this Netflix release, they are showing two very rare, like, types of One Piece gear. It's gonna be live action action figures of Luffy and Zoro so far from the SH Arts figure line, which is a fantastic figure line, but wildly unaffordable. So, you know, watch out for those ones being around 50, 70 bucks. I'm just letting you know right now. And then they're also doing WCFs of the live action One Piece crew, which I think they look fantastic. They gave a shout, they, they showed us what they look like at Anime Expo this year, and I couldn't be happier with the result. I love One Piece merch, and that's why I started this channel. But you know, my love for merch has also spread into just the overall love of anime and manga together. And both of those mediums can be consumed as merchandise, so that is why this channel continues to thrive, because the more popular anime and manga get, the more I'll be able to spread my love of merch, manga, and anime one video at a time. I've been Merch Hunter Ricky, and I've enjoyed talking to you very much so about my love of merch. I hope you have a good one, and start collecting merch and dust off those figurines. Have a good night. little bit of a late addition but I wanted to add that I went to a Dungeons and Dragons type store and I had a quote-unquote one piece of pizza that was five bucks and it was the size of my head so it was kind of worth it. I am also going to post the list of the stuff with the prices next to it that I found at each store and the, the you know the price category that goes with it and that is how I came up with the total of one thousand five hundred and sixty dollars and sixteen cents for if I were to have bought everything that I found that day.